Today, guys, we're gonna jump back into the world of videos that are made for kids by kids. No, I'm kidding. They're made by adults that don't give a fuck about kids and also are just trying to cash in on those sweet children. Whoops. That was a weird place to stop. Why did I stop there? Huh? Cashing in on sweet children? That's not what I meant to say. <laughs> I meant... <to laughs> I meant to say cashing in on sweet children CPMs. CPM, if you don't know, that stands for, come on, pay me for this mediocre content. Today, we're gonna be watching the Cringe Fam. They're the mother flippers behind this song that I reacted to on my second channel. Watch me flip, 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 flip. out, watch me flip, flip. And most recently, these diss tracks that they did about each other. And they're a couple, by the way, so you might be thinking, what? That doesn't make any sense. What? Diss tracks against your girlfriend and or boyfriend? What? That's so backwards? What the heck? They're supposed to love each other, not diss each other. Well, check it out. It's pretty gnarly. You know I love you, but I gotta do this to you, babe. Please grow up and at your age. I'm the prank queen, put the crown on my head. Not gonna listen if it's something Jack said. See what I mean? It's crazy. It's like, that's not the way it's supposed to be, dude, okay? You guys are supposed to love each other. Like, what are you dissing each other for? You guys are supposed to be honeys. Honeys. Oh, honey, the sponsor of today's video. Now, this isn't just your normal honey read. This is a different one because today, honey wants to help pay for one of your gifts. In fact, this holiday season, honey is helping to pay for one million gifts as part of the, oh my God, something in my eye, fuck. Ow! Ow! What is- what is stabbing my eye right now? Like it's stung by a fucking bee? Bees also make honey. Ow! Oh, look at that. That's my contact. Completely out. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, are we back? Nope, can't see anything. Okay, we're back. And I have a little bit of pink eye. Aw, oh, gross! Well guys, this holiday season, honey is <laughs> helping pay for one million gifts as part of the great honey gift away. That's thousands of prizes every week. You probably know Honey as the free browser extension that automatically searches the web for promo codes whenever you buy something online. But have you heard of Honey's other money-saving tools like Droplist? Just add things you want to buy to your drop list when you're, when you're shopping on certain stores online and then Honey will notify you. They'll watch the prices and then notify you when any of the prices drop. Anyways, here's how the great Honey gift away works. Add Honey to your computer uh, via joinhoney.com slash Cody Co. And then just add holiday gifts to your drop list for a chance to win part of the $1 million. Honey will then randomly select winners and then they'll just give them the money to help buy whatever the thing on the list is. I gotta buy a bunch of stuff, eye drops for one, for one thing, and I'm gonna add that to my list. Maybe I'll add like a new, you know, piano or something to my list as well so I can make beats, so I can make a diss track against Kelsey, or Chili actually. Even if you don't win, Honey will still let you know if the price drops on any of those items on your drop list, so it's a win-win. And you can do all that by going to joinhoney.com slash Cody Co. And uh, that's joinhoney.com slash Cody Co. All right, we're back. The first way that you can tell which videos are made for children and which aren't, all right? First first way you can tell is the, is the title. Very long, extremely long, all in capital letters with asterisks at the end and some emotion that I'm supposed to be feeling between the asterisks. Like, you know, for example, a title would be like, you know, girlfriend and I switch underwear for 24 hours straight. And then an asterisk, it would be like, painful, you know, or like itchy or like, you know, wedgy, you know, because <laughs> that's not really a feeling. Although I am feeling pretty wedgy today. The second way you can tell is by the thumbnail, obviously. You already know this. It's, you know, super bright, popping colors, a lot of emotion, uh, you know, text, emojis, that sort of thing. You already know this. The third way you can tell is by the time, all right? If they're over 20 minutes, then guaranteed this video is made for children. You know that right away by default. By default, if a vlog type challenge video like this is over 20 minutes, it's a cash grab. Nobody can do anything for a challenge or during a day for a vlog type thing that is entertaining enough to warrant over 20 minutes of content. I swear to God, nobody can do it. Look at this one is 27 minutes. Living in freezing cold pool for 24 hours. Overnight challenge, 27 minutes. Not even Mr. Beast videos are that long and he gives away like entire cities to people. Today, guys, we're giving away an entire city to one of our subscribers and we're gonna have them overthrow the government with a militia. 12 minutes. That's how long that video would be. 12 minutes, because that's, they know, that's how long a video like that should be, 12 to 15 minutes. 
Look, I know I've done videos over 20 minutes before, okay? And I'm not saying I'm exempt from this. I'm saying every single one of their videos is over 20 minutes and it's all something stupid. Look at this, look at this video. Steal this $100,000 diamond and you keep it. That's a Mr. Beast video. That's a real video that he just did. It's 14 minutes. 14 minutes of someone doing fucking Mission Impossible to win a $100,000 diamond. Did he make it two hours? No, he made it 14 minutes because that's the right length. But kids, they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. They have half a brain, so they'll just sit and watch anything if it's loud. That's the revelation that people that make kids content eventually arrive at, is they go, oh, just, just gotta be loud. It can be fucking two hours long. It just has to be loud. That's it. What's up, guys? No. What's up, guys? Yup. For example, look at the volume level of a video that they did, like, when they first started their channel. But to make it a little spicy, I'm doing it with my boyfriend. Oh. I love that squeal. It's my favorite thing you do. Okay, so you can see they're talking at like a normal volume, normal pacing, right? Okay, let's move to the video that we're gonna watch today. It's called Being Mean to My Girlfriend Then Surprising Her with an iPhone 12. Emotional. Ah! Oh, what's up, Cringe Champ? <laughs> what? What? Did he just start the video with an animal sound and then a backflip? Cause that proved my point way more than anything ever could. <laughs> That's even better than yelling. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. I gotta start my videos like that. Just. <laughs> What's up guys? <laughs> guys, it's the shark and you're probably wondering where a faff is. Guys, I'm taking over the Cringe Fam channel for the day. Today, I'm going to be doing a super, super funny thing to my girlfriend. But guys, after. <laughs> Damn, probably should have retaken that one. <laughs> he forgot what he was gonna say there for a second. Why do they all talk like this? That's the question. All the people that make videos for kids like this, they all talk the exact same. The same cadence, the same tone. They all hit the emphasis on the same words. It's weird. How does it evolve to this? Like, Jay Station talked the exact same way. It's, what's up, you guys? Today, we're gonna be bringing my girlfriend for, for 24 hours, you guys, and I cannot believe how crazy this video is gonna be. But first, like, you you would never actually talk to a child like this in real life. <laughs> what is up, my small nephew who is two years old? It is very good to see you. Guys, today, we're gonna be getting ice cream, and I can't wait. It's gonna be the craziest day by far. He just starts crying, like, uh, Uncle Cody, why are you, what are you, why are you talking to me like this? <sighs> I think I'm gonna have an aneurysm for this, from this video. I'm gonna be surprising her with something she can't stop talking about. Guys, today's video, I'm gonna be mean to my girlfriend, and then I'm gonna surprise her with the iPhone 12. Do you guys know what the iPhone 12 is? Who doesn't know what the iPhone 12 is? Every single person wants an iPhone 12. Okay, relax, relax. Jeez, why are you screaming at me? Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling about the iPhone 12? <laughs> God, this, this dude kind of freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> like his gaze, he's looking direct, he's looking through me. It's like, what are you, he's looking at that. And I'm gonna surprise her with an iPhone 12. She'll have absolutely no idea that I'm gonna be surprising her today with this because it's not Christmas yet. It's just some random day. So guys, this is gonna be one of the crazy. <laughs> it's not Christmas yet. It's just some random day. It's just some random fucking piece of shit day that's not Christmas. Because Christmas is the best day because we're eight. But before we get into today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the post notification so we can give five of you a shout out at the end of today's video. I'll give you five seconds to go do it real quick. Five seconds? Five. Five? Four, okay, like it and three, subscribe it. And two, where's the notification? One. Boom! You're subscribed yes. with the post notifications yeah. on. Welcome to the. Yes! Holy fuck, I thought we weren't gonna get it there for a second, but we got it. <sighs> the best family on YouTube. Ah. <laughs> Dude, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do it. That freaks me the fuck out. <laughs> oh my god. It's like Satan is escaping from from deep within him. It's like a like a horcrux or something. Is that the right word? I don't know. I've already bought it and guys, this thing cost way over a thousand dollars. Like a thousand dollars is a lot of money, but this is way more than a thousand dollars. Is it? It's one thousand the max is one thousand ninety-nine dollars. <laughs> 
Guys, this is way over. You will not believe how much this is over a thousand dollars. Bath's been winning a lot of challenges lately, so I don't really know if she needs any more stuff, but guys, I'm gonna get it for her because I'm a good boyfriend and I love my girlfriend so much. We literally have the best relationship in the world, but look. That was weird. <laughs> what the fuck was that? We literally have the best relationship in the world, you guys, unlike your parents. <laughs> and that's probably why you like watching this channel, because your dad would never buy your mom something over a thousand dollars. He'd buy that for his secretary instead. <laughs> God damn, how is this not exhausting? I actually now respect the fact that their videos are over 20 minutes because I couldn't do, I couldn't, I can't do this for longer than 30 seconds. I almost just had an aneurysm doing that last bit. Guys, I think she's gonna love it. Comment down below if you think a bath is gonna love her brand new iPhone 12. And comment. Literally, I'm gonna be mean to a bath all day long. Hopefully she doesn't want to break up with me for being so mean cuz like who wants a mean boyfriend? No one wants a mean boyfriend. Nobody wants a mean boyfriend Your mom wants a boyfriend. That's not your dad. <laughs> That's young and handsome preferably and guys when she least expects it when she's super super mad at me today I'm gonna pull out this baby boom and surprise her with a brand new iPhone 12 I don't I don't understand. How do you get into this? like you don't start YouTube wanting to make these style of videos, right? You have to get there somehow. Like no no hate. No, I'm not knocking their hustle. I'm I know I am a little bit, but you know, they make money how they make money, whatever. I'm just saying nobody picks up a camera for the first time when they're like 25 and goes, "Oh, I'm going to ask what my viewers want for Christmas because they're 8." You eventually have to get there. I'm just wondering how that happens. Okay, so then he hides the present, which takes up another 2 minutes before she gets home, and she finally gets home at 5.52 in the video. <laughs> 5.52, he hasn't even started the prank yet, and it's five minutes into the video. Dad, I missed you, come give me a hug. Oh, that's good. The, the doctor. I'm not surprised you missed me. <laughs> the, the doctor, he said that like everything's gonna be good. Well, that's good to hear. Why do you have flip flops on the sweatpants? That's ugly. What the fuck? Babe, the doctor said that the cancer I had just went away and everything's gonna be fine. That's cool, but you stink like shit. And you're fat. No wonder you're so stinky, you probably stunk off the cancer. <laughs> probably left your body because it just was so stunked out. Couldn't stand the stench. Guys, she just went in the bedroom. Okay, that means she's putting on more deodorant. She doesn't smell bad at all. Guys, she actually looks really beautiful and who cares if she has flip flops on. But anyways, guys, I <laughs> I hate, why, did, why does he keep doing this? <laughs> Guys, just keep in mind, this is a prank. I think she looks very, very beautiful. Again, unlike your parents, they do not respect each other and they actually, they hate the way that each other looks. They think that they both could lose a few pounds, in fact, but not me. I think she's beautiful the way she is. Okay, so then he's mean to her again and then he goes to the bathroom for another plug to subscribe to the channel, which we already did. We subscribed and the noties are on, so just to make sure. And then he, you know, and then he like calls her a fat bitch probably or something like that. And then, let's see, 20, 20 minutes in, it's time for the big reveal. Who acts like that? Like seriously, why Babe, are you doing? it's a prank. I literally got you an iPhone 12. No, no, babe, seriously, look. No, Jack, this isn't funny. Babe, chill no. out. It's literally just a prank. It's literally... Babe, it's literally a prank, okay? Literally? It's literally a prank. Literally. No, literally. You're not literally listening to me. What if she just broke up with him right here on the spot? <laughs> like, what if she just left him? Was just like, you know what, dude? Cut the, cut the fucking cameras, okay? It's over. It's over. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of these pranks. You know? Like, you're always you're always worried about the YouTube video and, and filming, and you're you're never worried about maybe maybe take me on a date every now and then, huh? Jack? You know what, dude? I'm out. This is this is bullshit. Go, you know, grow up, grow up. And then she leaves, and he looks at the camera, and he goes, "Guys, guys, we literally just split up, just like your parents." This is literally fake. I know. Babe, that's not a fake iPhone. You're lying to me. No, that's I the know real. You are. Babe, that's literally a real iPhone. No, look there. Where would you get a fake iPhone? Where would you even get that? I've never seen a fake iPhone in my entire life. I don't believe you. Babe, open it. Guys, look, this is the brand new iPhone 12. You can go back and watch. How many times has he said iPhone 12 in this video? How many times? 
Just, just, just nailing in the children's heads. iPhone 12! iPhone 12! You, you will never afford this! You will never be able to afford this. It's an iPhone 12 Pro Max Plus. Used to store our family pictures, which you have none of because your parents are divorced. Anyways, um, so the lesson here is, is it's totally okay to be a piece of shit to your significant other as long as you buy them something way over a thousand dollars and then film it and post it so you make the money back and then it's not actually a gift, it's just a tax write-off. Guys, before we end this video, I want to tell you really fast. Um, I did a podcast with iHeartRadio. I hosted it. It's called The Pleasure is Ours. And we just wrapped season one. So there's eight episodes now on the podcast app or wherever you get your podcast, Spotify, wherever. And uh, every episode I interview a different person and we talk about old pieces of advice and how we can modernize them. I did one with, with Rich Bryan. I did one with uh, Young Gravy. I did one with Noel. That was the last episode. So uh, go check that out if you want, and um, I appreciate you. And I also have new merch. So I don't know if you saw the last video, but there's brand new merch, and you get free shipping with orders over 100 bucks. And uh, it's new colors, by the way. It's not new merch, it's just new colors, but they're super dope. And um, and yeah, grab one for your, for your parents, maybe, who are divorced, so. All right, bye. This is a message to my pup I'ma tell you what's up Cause I'm sick of wiping up When you shit all on the rug, it's enough You better sit down, boy That's a pretty big bark For a dog with no nuts Yeah, dog I toss the ball, you bring it back And when I think it, you still run dumb ass I bet you wish you could talk Cause I'm busy taking shots Like what you got for kennel cough And why you so dumb? You can't pick up what I put down Cause you got no thumbs your puppy breath and make me sick Don't give me kisses, you were just licking your own dick Which I'm, I'm jealous that you can do that actually